Hey guys, Mark from Northeast Bass Fishing. How you doing? I um, have some clips that I uh, edited together from last week. Unfortunately, my front view camera that you can see there in the corner of the the disc must have been uh, the, uh, disc uh, must have been bad or something. It was all it was all kind of lousy footage that came out on that. I don't know why that happens. Sometimes maybe those discs just get worn out. So I got the back view. At least I had both cameras going. So um, this was last week, one day, and. Uh, was just, uh, you know, throwing the chatterbait around. This is the first fish I caught of the morning. It was a decent day, as you'll see. Um, all largemouth, and I'm showing it to a camera that <laughs> did not give me a good, good, uh, any good footage, but uh, that was the first fish of the day on the, uh, on the chatterbait. And then I'm back, and obviously you can see it's all pads. The pads are starting to get a little, starting to die off a little bit in some of the lakes, but this lake has a bunch of, you know, froggy areas, but this is really the only frog fish of the day. Everything else, uh, you know, I had a few blow-ups, but the frog bite just wasn't on. Once the nights, at least for me, start to get cold, that frog bite kind of goes away. But that was the one frog, decent frog bite I got. And that was on that Berkeley Swamp Lord, which was the first fish I caught on the Swamp Lord. Really, it was pretty much a chatterbait and a jig day, as you'll see. Here I am just fishing open water throwing the chatterbait around. This is not a deep lake. And uh, scattered weeds everywhere. And another little little uh, largey on a chatterbait. I'm just throwing the jackhammer and running it around. You know, right here, it's probably about eight feet. Uh, kind of out off a point now, throwing it around. No real monsters on the day. Probably three, maybe a couple threes was probably the biggest I got. Nothing real huge. This was a decent one right here. As you can see, the chatterbait, once again, in the, in the morning, that was the way to go. I tried other things and only had the one topwater bite on that one frog. So everything else was a chatterbait, so I just kind of kept throwing it. Just covering water. And uh, <clears throat> this particular area was pretty good that day. Caught a few there. Just, just uh, throwing it around. Uh, it's kind of like the corner of a point, I guess, if I wanted to be technically technical about where I was was fishing. And I just seemed to be, uh, this spot seemed to be holding some fish. I even lost a couple there. But if I remember right, this was a decent one. And just throwing that jack that half-ounce jackhammer around, I've got a, uh, a uh, the Kalen's Grub is my trailer. And a decent largey. They're starting to fat up, a, uh, fatten up a little as fall gets here. Things seem to be cooling down now. This was still a warm day. It got pretty hot in the afternoon. Another shot of me showing it to a camera that I <laughs> didn't even get a good, uh, didn't even get good footage from. But uh, then it was a little slow for a little while. I was kind of out, you know, trying some different things, and then I threw, started throwing the jig around a little bit. And here I am picking my, you know, something out of my line, and I'm reeling it back, and the fish actually hits it as I pick it up off the bottom. And I'm just throwing that queen tackle jig with the zoom trailer on there. The little guy on the jig. When I flip that whole area, you see there were the tree lay downs and stuff, but nothing else in that spot. Got that one guy. This was probably one of my best fish of the day, maybe the best fish of the day. I was just swimming that jig past that dock, and he came out and, and hit it. It's a pretty good bass. This might have been the best fish of the day. I think it was. He was probably in that three range, that low three range. As I said, no monsters on the day. But I was just swimming it, you know, right next to that dock, and he, he came out and hit it. And this is an end of the lake where there's a lot of weeds, and I threw the frog a lot, and I probably had five or ten blow-ups, and I got none, none of them got it. But this is a nice bass. So that was another jig fish there. Nice jig fish, and that queen tackle jig. Here I am at the by an island on the lake, just kind of, I, I, this is after I had a snack, and so I thought, well, I'll just pop the jig around in some of these pads. And all of a sudden the line just started, started swimming off to the little guy here. Totally took me by surprise. I think he might have been by that log there. You can kind of see on the right. That was a decent, decent jig fish. Kind of took, as I said, took, kind of took me by surprise. I was just, I had just sat there for, you know, 20 minutes having a snack and a drink. And 
stood up, flipped it into the pads, and he and he hit it. Now I did that a lot and <laughs> caught nothing else. Here I am uh, later in the day. You can, can kind of see if you look at that closely. You might have to rewind. You can see those reeds move, and I knew he, I knew a fish came out and, and got it, which is so cool when you see them move. So the bass is sitting there, and he he comes out and and eats it. So another fish on the jig, and I just kind of threw the jig the rest of the day. Um, as the day went on here and caught a few more as the day went on decent day on the water and you know anytime the fish are eating the jig i'm a happy happy camper and this is down a little further along the shoreline just kind of swimming it past some of these lay downs another little bass comes out and gets it and as i said that's that queen tackle jig zoom trailer that uh that craw Usually I'm using like the power team one, but I figured hey, I'll try the, I had the zoom one in the boat. I figured I'll throw it on there and I don't know how, it had nice, you know, a nice kicking action, which probably helped a little bit. And so I was just working those pads the rest of the day with the jig. If I could get it out of his mouth, he got it pretty good. But decent keeper. At this point of the day, it was getting pretty hot, but I was almost done. And I just kept swimming it around, heading back towards the ramp. I'm just kind of swimming that jig around next to the dock, next to these pads, next to the boat there. It seemed like swimming the jig was better than, than just throwing it, just pitching it and flipping it. And this little guy came out and hit it. So guys, overall, you know, a decent day. Just figured I'd throw these clips together and show them to you before I, I uh, uh, clear this disc out. And uh, got some uh, some fish, other fishing highlights coming up from another day on the water. So uh, pretty good day. Uh, as I said, chatterbait and jig, which makes me happy. So I'll see you guys soon on YouTube. Mark out.